Hey guys, it is Shannon. I'm here with the legs and the things. We are almost reaching the end of 2016. Thank goodness. I for one am ready for this year to be over. I'm ready to move on to the next thing. New challenges, new goals, new everything. But let's reflect on the last year and I'm going to tell you 16 things that happened to me in 2016. I made a list on my phone because I can't remember shit. I started the year by going to Mexico with some of my best friends. We spent a week there and it was literal paradise. It was beautiful. Um, I experienced a ghost for the first time this year in this very apartment. Apparently, uh, his name is Henry and he used to live here. So sometimes now I just like talk to Henry or I'll like wake up and I'll be like, what's up Henry? Um, but he's a, also apparently an angry ghost because he likes to throw things in my apartment. But he also turned on my radio one time, so I think he likes to party. I got kicked out of a Walmart this year because I tried to, uh, I was dog sitting this like cute little, little dog named Coco. And I was trying to sneak Coco into Walmart so that we could go grocery shopping together. Uh, but they weren't about that. Walmart hates dogs. Spread the word. I went to the mountains more times than I can count uh, since it's only a like couple hour drive away and I went camping in the mountains for the first time this summer which was just like glorious and wonderful and I recommend it to anyone uh, pretty much if you want to come here and then we can go together I'm all about that too let's do it I went to Vancouver this summer with one of my best friends Teresa uh, we went to go visit Brie and Julia and a bunch of other people uh, and spend the weekend there which was glorious it was wonderful uh, I want to go back. I did not spend enough time there. And I also um, lost my phone when we were at the bar like three times because I'm just really forgetful when I drink like 10 tequila shots. So, But I got my phone back so it was a win-win awesome uh, weekend overall. <laughs> went to a nude beach for the first time ever when I was in Toronto. I was too uh, sad about myself to... Uh, take off my clothes, but everyone else at the beach did so I got to see a lot of stuff a lot of stuff I also got to interview a bunch of people through work uh, This year, which is so great Just the best things that could happen because uh, if you don't know me I pretty much just want to be Oprah and I just want to interview people as much as I can I got to interview Alessia Cara and I'm the biggest Alessia Cara fan. So that was just like <sighs> I have I think Drake is in my phone. You think Drake is in your phone? Wouldn't you know Drake is in your phone? <laughs> he is, yeah, he is, he is. I got to uh, interview Carly Rae Jepsen, which is also a really big one because I love her. And she is just a peach and I'm just obsessed. Oh, I really like to play chess. That's an odd, yeah. yes. And I'm, and I'm quite good. <laughs> and I got to actually do like a one hour panel speak series with Natasha Lyonne, who plays uh, Nikki on Orange is the New Black. And that was great because I literally got to talk to her for an hour in front of like 400 people and it was amazing. And we went out for dinner after because she's so sweet and she asked me to hang out and she gave me so many compliments that I was just like, in awe of her, so that was like probably the just the highlight of my entire year. That was that was great. She's just wonderful. Just wonderful. And this year I started living alone for the first time ever. This is my apartment that I live in by myself. I've never lived by myself before. It's a little bit scary because I'm in a kind of sketchy area of town I learned after I moved here. Uh, so that's interesting. But um this is my little nook, and I'm obsessed with this apartment. Well, I like living alone. It's great. I can be naked all the time. You don't understand like how nice that is until you have experienced it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live with anyone again. I love being naked. Of course, I can't uh, make this video without referencing my beautiful Oprah chair that is just right there behind me. Uh, I got that this year, which is like the best purchase that I've ever made and nothing is ever going to compare to my Oprah chair. It is like, I keep it in this area of my living room. There's like a spotlight right above it. So that when people come in, it's like the first thing that they see and they're like, oh, cool, an old fashioned like theater chair. And I'm like, that's not just any theater chair, that's Oprah's chair. 
I also was an idiot and not paying attention while I was driving, although I was not texting, but I did total my car into another car and it was so bad that my car was not able to get fixed and I had to get a new one. But I bought a Jeep and I'm obsessed with it and I named her Rusty and she's lovely and uh, I feel like this, we're gonna be great friends. And she fits my snowboard inside of it so it's already wonderful. So, blessing in disguise. A very expensive, expensive blessing. I actually got promoted at work this year uh, to the evening show at work so I do a show Monday to Friday during the night, but I guess I also do a show Saturday and Sunday. So I'm on the radio a lot. Um, and you can listen to me by going to this website. And this is just a self-promotion. You can Google me and find out all the things. Or download the iHeartRadio Music app to listen to my show. And this year I made a bunch of new friends, including getting to know a bunch of you guys, which I always enjoy doing. So um, feel free to say hi sometimes and let's be friends. So hit me up and I want you to comment on this video. Tell me the highlight of your year. What is something you did in 2016 that you are super duper proud of? I'll read them all. And tell your mom I say hi because she is a cool lady and she created you. So. She must be great. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Let's get it to 100 likes. Let, that's all I'm asking for. You can do it. 100 for the 100% uh, chance there is that you're a hottie. No, no. Okay, have a good rest of your day. Happy New Year. And I'll see you all in 2017. Bye.